Jet Schilling leaning heavily into that high score of a seven. Even championship tour, it's been pretty rare. I don't, I mean, I'll, I'll let Mitch maybe think of who three in a row were, but we got some action. Yeah, this guy is uh, fired up. You can tell Jet Schilling looking for the inside oh. ramp, blows the fins. Dude's getting aggro out there, and we're here for it. Looking to get rid of a four, eight, three. On the strength of that one big turn, you saw all three of his fins pretty much sprayed the underside of the pier, which is not easy to do. That's going to be a solid chunk of... If you want to be a pro surfer... Move to San Clemente. <laughs> well, if you want to be a pro <laughs> surfer, act like you live in San Clemente and surf no matter what. Jet Schilling, proof of that, goes to the air easily. Whips a front three with speed. Down the line again. Quick snap there, redirects to the right. Goes for the oh, backside right. reverse. Crazy. Yeah, well. Dude is skateboarding on yeah, his surfboard, is. and it is really fun to watch. And Clemente, we got Jet Schilling with AJ McCord. That's right, Jet. That was such a fun heat to watch. Four of you guys just going blow for blow, it seemed like. How did you make sure that you found the waves you wanted? Um. Well, before my heat, Griffin was like, oh, just sit underneath the middle black boy and create some... I don't know, just create your own wave or create your own score on one of those lefts because uh, I've been feeling good on the lefts and the rights and my boards feel good, so I'm just stoked. Yeah. As you should be, and speaking of Griff, he's not only helping coach you, but you have an entire San Clemente crew that is rooting for you. It seems like at every single heat. How much does that support help you? Oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. I just got like the biggest smile on my face every time I'm walking down. I'm like, oh, the boys, how's it? So I'm just so stoked. As you should be, and moving on into the next round, anything you learned from this heat you're going to carry forward? Yeah, um, just keep sticking to what I'm doing and being smarter. And uh, yeah, I don't know, just wave by wave and enjoying every moment because uh, it's a good time. Congratulations, Jeff. We'll see you in the next round. Thank you. He is that good that you would expect him to uh, already make that jump, but that just tells you how deep the field of talent is. And here's another one of them, Jet Schilling. He whips his way through. And I think we're gonna be using that word a lot when we watch Jet Surf. He's got a backside whip that has been his moneymaker throughout the better part of the last few seasons on the QS and Challenger Series. Yeah, and waves have remained consistent throughout the day too, Chris, and that high tide has been helping out a lot right now. We're gonna start it off with Mateus Herde. This kid is an amazing talent, has had some success on the Challenger Series, QS, even on the Championship Tour. But Pete, has Mateus Hardy lived up? I think that's a loaded question, but I, I don't think so. Yeah, I think that uh, you think about the talent level as we see one uh, another very talented surfer, Ezekiel Lau, up and riding. I would say Ezekiel, you know, has definitely proven his spot. And it is interesting when you look back at the lineage of uh, winners we've had here in Huntington Beach. William Cardoso, I mean, Ezekiel Lau, uh, you know, Cole Hausman in that last heat shows you that uh, these uh, big dudes can do huge things in small waves. And I think we can all learn a thing or two by watching, you know, the, uh, the light footedness. Take a look here at Ezekiel Lau's last wave. One decent section to work with. Yeah, and he already opened up with a 6.67 before this, too. And... A great combination right there, a smaller wave, but he's just looking for his backup score right now and doing some solid stuff there on the inside, throws the tail a little bit. So uh, again, this heat's gonna be uh, fiery from the jump, and it already is. Jet Schilling, a 4.83 on his first wave. Ezekiel Lau, a 6.67. Mateus with a six. Everybody with a solid number, except for Ian Gouvey. Cool way to finish as we see now Mateus so fast down the line. A little glitch in the second bottom turn, but three turns, throwing tons of spray. Add a fourth little clicker on the inside. Subtle stall, waiting for the section to appear. It. But this is what you're talking about, Pete. Um, riding that JS, it seems like an epoxy compared to a PU from the other day. Yeah, either way, it's fresh under his feet, and it's got some pop. You know, definitely, you can see just the those boards have always thrown spray out of the tails. Banger from Mateus Hurdy right behind, and we Ooh. see Jet Schilling now. Crowd's going wild, as they should. Things are getting <laughs> radical out here in HB. I was going to say, like, just watching Mateus, there's looks like a board change uh, from the earlier heat. <laughs> it's the way he fits it in, the way he brings his rail around when he finishes the turn. And, boy, the San Clemente guys really got excited for that combo right there. And they should be very proud. I saw Jet Schilling right before this heat hanging out uh, with, uh, with the whole crew, the Colapintos, and the whole support staff. And... It's working. 
It's on fire right now. This is Ian Gouveia's first wave. Oh. That right there. I mean. You okay? How cool is <laughs> I mean, how cool was that turn for a nothing wave? That was pretty sick. I mean, it that, definitely had a little motion out of uh, uh, Mitch over here. When, when, when you're able to do a carve like that at a beach break, <laughs> it's some impressive stuff because it's not every day you're able to get a wall like that and be able to fit in a carve in such a short, short area. And that's some real sick turns right there that we saw from me and Gouveia on the back end. From Florinopolis, I would say the uh, high action hub of Brazil for surfing and skateboarding. Gouveia, oh. that was the turn that... <laughs> you did it again. Make the noise again, Mitch. <laughs> Do it. Hey, Ian earned it. He's got a pair of fours, but those are well. Third and fourth place surfers. They'll be out of contention. So Pete and I were talking about a little bit earlier. The round of 30. Jet Schilling leaning heavily into that high score of a seven. Even championship tour, it's been pretty rare. I don't. I mean, I'll, I'll let Mitch maybe think of who three in a row were, but we got some action. Yeah, this guy is uh, fired up. You can tell. Jet Schilling looking for the inside oh. ramp. Blows the fins. Dude's getting aggro out there, and we're here for it. Looking to get rid of a 4-8-3. On the strength of that one big turn, you saw all three of his fins. Pretty much sprayed the underside of the pier, which is not easy to do. That's going to be a solid chunk. Going a little bit faster, mm -hmm. and that's very helpful. I mean, he just whips into this one. You know, he gets the carve here. He pushes very hard, but watch this. Accelerating through the lip, just punches that fins. It's, uh, you know, a little karate chop. You know, this was uh, just further south a little bit. Gouveia just doing what he does, smashing waves to bits. He's just got to find bigger, better waves. Welcome back to the Wallex US Open of Surfing. You picked a good day to be a surf fan because this heat is going off. Ezekiel Lau, quick up and out right there inside of 10 minutes. Ian way down the beach, still looking for the 7-3 theory. It would have to be the second highest score of the heat, Chris. Good looking wave right here. It seems like Mateos might be interested. Yeah, this is like that wave pool setting that just says fun. Wedging waves wow. coming through. Mateus Hurley. Oh. <laughs> That's rare to see him fall on that trick. So if you want to be a pro surfer. Move to San Clemente. <laughs> well, if you want to be a pro surfer, <laughs> act like you live in San Clemente and surf no matter what. Jet Schilling, proof of that, goes to the air easily. Whips a front three with speed. Down the line again. Quick snap there. Redirects to the right. Goes for the oh, backside right. reverse. Crazy. Yeah, well. Dude is skateboarding on yeah, his surfboard, and it is really fun to watch. I feel like that was a pretty good number right there for him. It could turn the heat. The it's close. Backside floaters are underrated. They are, and Andy Irons, a former champion out here, used floaters to his advantage many times. You talked about the front side three right there, uh, Pete, and then redirects right and throws the tail around for the blow tail reverse at the end. This is an important wave right here for uh, Ezekiel Lau. He's carrying a 667, and... Uh, Two beautiful snaps. The floater there, that transition carried the speed well. And uh, doesn't need all that much to turn the heat. Just a, a probably basically. Since it's 1.57, he hasn't made a single mistake in this heat. His wave selection has been great. His positioning has been awesome. And it's just, it seems like that benefit of having his crowd and his crew on the beach is just bringing that energy to life right now, Chris. He's doing it for himself. He's doing it for the homies. And it's working. Ezekiel Lau. More of a blue-collar approach, leaning on his power, which is, uh, I would say, his main strength, but also consistency. So Ezekiel there, back-to-back -back waves, still waiting for scores for both of them. You know, wave selection. Watch out. Gouveia goes to the air now. Nice. Quick front three into Ooh. the power snap. There we go. Into this little styly ride out again. That's just signifying to the judges that I got this. Ian Gouveia looking for a 7-3-3. Was this it, Mitch? I like it. I mean, he throws the tail around. It's not necessarily all the way as an air, but combos it up with a great... My personal opinion, compared to five experts in the field, I will always go to them. Uh, as we see now, Ian Gouveia. Another quick, uh, quick frontside air. Kind of has to uh, shuffle his feet around. So, you know, to me, Gouveia right now is kind of hunting and, and just trying to find that one little magic moment. Give it up to San Clemente's Jet Schilling putting on one of the most exciting performances we've seen of the entire event. Great surfing there from Jet as well as Mateus Sardi 
put together a 12.50 total, just edging out Ezekiel Lau with a 12.2, Gouveia with an 11.5. That was one of the heats of the day for sure.